in the previous video i have shown you how to um, draw execution pattern for each scheduling policies and the execution pattern can be used to determine the finish time for each processes in the scheduling so finish time is important because we could use finish time um, to calculate the performance of scheduling um, policies so um, the performance of scheduling policies can be quantified using normalized turnaround time which is the turnaround time divided by the average service time which is TS so TR or turnaround time is the total time of the process in a system including the waiting time while the average service time is the average time spent for the process in running state so let me show you how to calculate the turnaround time um, the average service time and also the normalized turnaround time to calculate turnaround time so the formula is tr is the service time which is uh, so the finish time minus the arrival time so for process a for example the turnaround time for process a is the finish time which is 3 divided by the arrival time which is 0 so we will get 3 so this is the turnaround time for process A for process B so we repeat the process which is to find the turnaround time for process B 9 minus 2 so we will get 7 so you can repeat the process for process um, D, uh, C, D, and E to find their uh, respective uh, turnaround time. Now let us find the um, average um, turnaround time, uh, uh, the normalized turnaround time, or n third. So normalized turnaround time is equal to the turnaround time for each process divided by the average service time. So, if I were to find the normalized turnaround time for process A, so the turnaround time is 3 divided by the service time of process A, which is 3, so I will get the result 1. So, let me repeat the calculation with to find the normalized turnaround time for process B, where the Turn around time for process B is 7 divided by the service time which is 6. So you will get the noise around time for process B as 1.17 1 depending whether this is a um, um, second or nano second depending on the matrix that we use for me to measure the time uh, for the computer time. So now um, lastly, um, for the, the normalized turnaround time allows you to find the, the, the performance for each of the process. But um, to find the overall performance, so we need to calculate the average normalized around time for the scheduling process. Okay, so if it the mean, so basically the formula is the sum of normalized around time for each of the process divided by number of process so in this case in the first come first serve um, scheduling policies the total um, the total of the the sum of the um, normalized around time divided by five five process so we will get two five six so that's that is the average normalized turnaround time now once we have done the uh, or calculate the performance for the scheduling policies um, we could compare the our result with other uh, scheduling policies so previously I have shown you um, the the for scheduling policies, which is first zero, big quantum one, short as next, and so the remaining time. So from here, it can be seen that both SRT and 
SPN has a lower average normal rested around time in comparison with the first cup serve and also the round robin. Right? However, um, if we were to compare the performance in terms of um, average normal lasting around times, we could see that um, shorter shimmering time um, uh, have better performance than the others and also the shortest process next. However, it is impossible to make a definitive comparison because um, a scheduling policy performance uh, is relative uh, is relative and usually depends on variety of factors because I have um, earlier explained in the uh, previous video when we are discussing about the performance criteria um, there when we measure uh, the performance there is a performance related measurement and also non-performance related measurement for example even though SPN and SRT has um, has a, a better um, performance um, in terms of um, average normal less than around time but the overhead um, of the uh, schedule policies is also high and these two SPN and SRT also um, has stubborn problem because in both um, SPN and SRT, and SRT it favors or prioritize a shorter process in comparison with the longer process so longer process need to wait um, all of the shorter process uh, to be um, before them so the effect of um, the starvation um, so there is no fair treatment meaning um, there is no equal um, uh, there's no fairness in the execution of the processes because uh, these two um, screen poly will penalize long processes so as i said earlier to sum up um, there is no definitive comparison um, be, uh, because uh, the performance depend on variety of factors but if we solely focus on the uh, measurable quantitative performance which is the average normalized um, turnaround time we could say that um, SRT and SPN uh, perform better than um, first come first serve and round robin so to summarize this um, chapter so in this chapter I have talked about the different types of processes scheduling um, which is long term, medium term and also short term scheduling I've talked about the short term scheduling criteria I have uh, continued uh, talking about different scheduling policies um, how the selection function is done in um, each of the scheduling um, policies and finally I show how to calculate the quantitative uh, performance um, for each of the scheduling policies and provide some comparison for the scheduling policies performance so with that, uh, thank you and we will see you at the next video.